When your teacher is talking, it's never good to read a book while she's talking because it shows that you're not paying attention to her and um, it shows that you're being disrespectful and just doing whatever you want instead of what your teacher is doing. Please think before you start reading a book. I understand we all have moments where we like to read or we're reading for homework and we want to get it done, but don't read during class unless your teacher says it's okay to read during class, read a book that the class is not reading during class. Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I have a story about the time my teachers were talking and two of my classmates um, were more interested in the books they were reading that the class wasn't reading, well, their own books they were reading rather than what my teacher was talking about, or they either weren't paying attention to when it wasn't the time to read, and they looked as if they were ignoring my teacher, and they got in trouble for reading a book while my teacher was talking. So this is a story just to teach you guys that it's okay to read in class, but you should always read during SSI time. Don't read while your teacher is talking because it shows that you don't want to listen to your teacher, you just want to read and stuff. I mean, I get it. We all read in school and we like to read, but you should only read when your teacher tells you to read at school, or you can read on your own time during um, SSI. Um, I. Um, so please think about that before you start reading a book. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And because I won't be using names for safety purposes, I'm going to give these people names and call them Bookworms 1 and Bookworms 2 because they were reading books while my teacher was talking. Story number one. This one started, I think, about 20, um, 21 years ago. Yeah, this one was 21 years ago. I was held back in the third grade. If you didn't see that full story, I will link it down below if you didn't see. And my teacher was talking, and it was the middle of the day in class. And we weren't she was just talking about something. I don't know what she was talking about. I think she was giving a lecture in the class or giving a lesson. I can't remember what she was giving a lesson about, but I know she was definitely talking. And um, she calls on one of my classmates. We'll call him Bookworm One. Um, not to be mean, just Bookworm One, just because he was reading a book. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> think of. So we're calling him Bookworm One and Bookworm One is reading a book. He looks more interested than in the book than what my teacher is talking about. So she's calling on Bookworm One and then she notices Bookworm One not paying attention and reading his book and rather than um, listening to my teacher. So finally my teacher tells Bookworm One. Bookworm One, I need you to close that book right now. So as soon as she says that, Bookworm One closes his book like that and really quickly and he looks at my teacher and he's all quiet so my teacher is pretty upset with him I don't um, him, which I think she was upset because he was reading his book while she was talking and she is not very happy about it so my teacher tells bookworm one that he that she would like him to sit on the bench at his last recess recess because in this class I had um four recesses I would have one I would have one in the morning actually two in the morning morning which is our break and then I would have one during at lunch and then I would have uh, one more recess after after um so that's how kind of this class was because I was in a full day third grade right and she was pretty upset so that because he was reading his book while she was talking. So Bookworm One sat on the bench while uh, bench as punishment for reading his book while talking while the teacher was talking. Talking and he did learn a lesson not to read his book while the teacher is talking. Story number two, let's begin. So this one started, um, I would say maybe 20, 
20 or 19 years ago. No, um, was it 21 or is it 22 year, 20 or 21 years ago? I was um, in the fourth grade. One of my classmates saw I had this cute little book about a kitten and she wanted to read it and she asked to, to borrow it. And this, I'm gonna call this girl Bookworm 2 or book two bookworm or bookworm two two i'm just gonna name her bookworm two so she asks if she can read it and i say sure little did i know was my teacher was gonna get ready to talk and i did not realize it was reading time so um she's reading the book my teacher is talking i can't remember what she's talking about but um she is talking about something something i don't remember like i said because this was long ago was it Something to do with social studies or math. I don't remember, but Bookworm 2 was so into the cute little book that I had about a kitten, about the kitten. So the teacher notices Bookworm 2 reading the book I had about the kitten. And then she tells Bookworm 2. Bookworm 2, please close that book. We're not reading about kittens right now. We're talking about whatever we're doing in class. So I said it like that because I couldn't even remember what we were doing in class. So as soon as Bookworm 2 hears that, she puts my book down on my desk and starts to pay attention to the teacher because she notices the teacher talking. So I take my book and put it in my backpack and I apologize to my teacher because I was the one who gave Bookworm 2 the book. And um, Bookworm 2 apologizes for reading the book while she, my teacher was talking. And my teacher was really nice because she knew that I didn't mean to do that because I didn't know that um, it wasn't free reading time. And she and book, was really nice about it too, Bookworm 2, because Bookworm 2 wasn't paying attention and didn't realize it was not reading time either. So, she, so once I put my book away in my backpack, um, we were able to focus on the activity that my teacher was talking about. So the moral of the story is it's okay to read a book at school well, when you're in class, but you can only read it when you're reading a certain book with your teacher or free SSI time, which is silent sustained reading. And it's just like never read a book in class unless you're reading a certain book with your class. Like let's say you're reading a chapter book in class or you're reading from a big textbook in, book in class. Um, just don't read your own book at your own time while time at school. You can only read it during SSI. I, um, it's good to read a book at school. I'm not saying it's bad to read a book at school. It's good to read a book at school, but you should only read it like during silent sustained reading, reading or if um, you have like a free reading time at school or you can also read for your homework if you're required to read for your homework. It's just really important to pay attention to when you're supposed to read a book because you can't read a book a book whenever you want at school. You your teacher is probably giving directions, or your teacher is probably like trying to teach the class something, and it's kind of rude to read a book while your teacher is teaching the class. So always like pick the right time to read your own book. So that was a story about the time two of my classmates accidentally decided to read a book while my teacher was talking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. If you haven't already, please like this video if you enjoyed it and also make sure you subscribe to my channel.